female, Muslim, black. Three oppressed groups I'm attached to not by choice, but by society. The society that allowed me to grow up without loving myself. The society that chooses to hate me when they don't know me. The society that rejects me because of the way I look. Female, Muslim, Black. Islam means the submission to God. That is the duty of Muslims, to keep the peace of this world, to keep the peace within themselves. That is hard hard to deflect the sharp pain being thrown at you like many daggers left with the semi-deep cuts by the people within society hard to hear the words that effortlessly leave the throat of ignorance hard to walk through the streets at night hard to see what's ahead of me i can only see a smaller version of who i used to be it was like she was nothing bullies circling around her screaming out african booty scratcher you stink let me see your hair what would you do if i were to take it off female muslim black she froze in agony and turned it on herself hating the skin she is seen and yearning to take off her hijab to show everyone the length they thought she lacked. She thought maybe she could show some people. Show them she's just like them. Like my permed hair was a solution to this. Questioning which path in life she takes. Let people decide for you or decide for yourself. Little things like when they hear the tone of my voice, the way that my words travel through their ears as a white girl. Does speaking proper make me less black? They assume that I would never step out of good morning, how are you, to yo, what's up? It's a joke. She's female, Muslim, and black. So you know what that means? I'm dangerous to them. I'm the one that overstepped my boundaries. I'm the one that gets locked up with the change of the media. Meanwhile, the real perpetrators are walking free, coming to strike again. They already have. I mean, just look at the Muslims being held in concentration camps in China, a continuity, and we just sit back and watch. We watch our world rot in the accepting hate. A tragedy that you will never see on your TVs. A tragedy that will only reach the apps and to your phones. You caption it and you share it on your 24 hour stories and then you come across a meme, laugh and forget about what you shared previously and the next day it's gone. It's left in the abyss of the internet. A tragedy that people feel like is payback for 9-11. A tragedy that will only come to an end when it's too late. Female. Muslim. Black. I used to hate who I was. Now, I must walk with my head held high and ready to defend myself and others when necessary. In the land of the free and the home of the brave, it is the only way I can survive as a black Muslim female. I'm gonna need a backup because oh, it don't gotta be far. I know, but the background is so pretty. It's so what? So like, wow. I used to hate. <laughs> Go back to where you came from. You stink. I'm doing that. Mm. <laughs> Taking a bad pictures. Taking a bad Yeah, you look good. Me? Yeah. Yes. Stop playing with you. <laughs> Questioning with path and life. As a black 
Mlazi. Fuck! It's okay. This is also like one the same recording, is that okay? Okay, that's fine. Oh. They're dead behind you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's okay, you can cut this, it's fine. 